Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. Salesforce Interaction Studio provides you with detail on the users who visit your website. You can view the specifics of an individual user or compare those specifics to an entire segment of users and see how the individual compares to a group. First, let's look at the details of a specific user. We can view details for a specific user or account by locating the user in User Segments, All Users, or by going into User Segments to see a specific audience membership of a segment. You can also find any user profile by typing the email or unique ID in the search bar at the top. Here we have a user, Rachel. When she first comes to our site, Interaction Studio assigns an anonymous user ID. When she returns, as long as she has not cleared her cookies, then Interaction Studio recognizes her and uses the information from the prior visit to make this experience more personalized. Let's say Rachel now gives us an email address or creates an account. Interaction Studio captures the email address and stores it against her record as an identity attribute and generates a new Interaction Studio ID. Note that it also maintains her behavior from her prior visit, when she was still anonymous, so we have a consistent view of the customer. Within every profile are a series of tabs that give additional details about the user. The Overview tab consists of all the details we just walked through. The Segment Membership tab lists all the segments that this user is currently a member of. We can click into any of the listed segments to see a view of all audience members that have qualified for that segment. Moving along the tabs, Segment Compare enables us to apply any audience group and see how their behavior stacks up in comparison to this specific user based on engagement, activity, KPIs, and other actions across segments, displayed as averages or totals. As you can see, Rachel has a higher engagement score than the average of the global audience, and she also has a higher average order size. Actions Details provides a breakdown by percentage of the total actions that a user has completed since their first visit to the site. These actions are configured in the site map and can track page loads and clicks as we can see in the list. Some common actions we can see here are Home Page, View Category, View Item, and View Item Detail, which is a click into the Product Display page. This combined with the event stream, which shows a timeline of every action completed by this user in real time, gives us deep insight into the behavior of the user. Event details are captured on the right-hand side for each event under Event Details including the exact timestamp of the action, URL of the page, which content zone was interacted with, the channel, and even the browser used. These tabs can also be very helpful when testing campaigns with your own unified customer profile to understand how an individual's customer journey is captured within the UI. Depending on the configuration of your data set, you may see various types of actions, including named page views, tracked actions, campaign message activity, including impressions, click-throughs, and dismissals, and Interaction Studio item actions, for example, purchase or add to cart. Finally, the Affinity Details tab allows us to break down the details in the Affinity wheel on the top right even further to understand how a particular user's behavior relates to their intent and the various dimensions collected for each product. Here we can see that Rachel has built up various affinities through her on-site behavior. In her user profile, we can see the clicks and we can see the time viewed. Affinity shows when they were interested, so in this case, we can see Rachel was initially interested in women, tops, sweatshirts, but more recently, we can see she spent more time on women, footwear, running. Einstein Recommendations takes this into account, looking at her more recent activity as it makes recommendations on the next category or product 
Rachel might be likely to respond to. Now that you know the user profile tabs in Interaction Studio, you can fully dissect the behavior of a user profile. This is a great way to understand what information is captured on a user as well as troubleshoot data ingestion and campaigns. For more information, check out the Knowledge Base to access anything about Interaction Studio, where everything is searchable by keyword. You can also sign up for guided, in-depth lessons of core functionality at ecampus.evergage.com.